All right, Bay Mang, today is Monday. It is May 16th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. It's Snake Draft Monday. We have our, a guest joining us today who it's only their second draft, but his first one he put on one hell of a performance. It is Frank the Tank in New York. Frank, how are you? Welcome back. I'm doing well. Uh, i got my shirt here. There are many faces of uh, Frank. You can buy that Barstool store. I mean, this is this shirt is more than a shirt. It's a work of art. And you can also buy the poster, too. Oh, we like that. Look I at do that. like that. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of hats on there, Frank. Yes. We I all, always wear a lot of hats. We'll do plugs. We'll do plugs all around. Oh, this is in a pouch. How about that? I didn't know that. Uh, oh, they're the, pa- the packable windbreakers. Oh, yeah. is it? Yep. Yeah, it's a pouch. No. Yeah, no. you can. That's the whole windbreak. That's attached. That's part of the thing. So do I pop it out? I don't know what I'm Not, doing here. Yeah, you pop it out, but it, don't rip it because that the the pack is part of the jacket. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rip it. Don't rip, gonna it. rip it. I don't know. Whatever it is, we got windbreakers <laughs> in the store. Uh, go get them. Uh, the, go to the Chicago tab. You'll see them there. They're sweet. People love them. So they are really awesome. They're great. Still windbreaker season too. That's a light windbreaker. Some of you guys want to carry the the quarter zip uh, d- deep into the warmer months. This is a great option. So has yeah, the weather warmed up here? Rob? It's not was out here last month. It's, it's, it's hot fucking now. Fucking hot. It's like eighty five today. Oh, nice. Yeah. Go if to the windbreaker if you're into that sort of thing. And these hats, and those hats, and get yourself a beef kit. All, are, all yes, around the board. Big sale right now. Big sale going right now. Uh, code RLR. Is that right? 25% off? 25% off TasteRealChicago.com with code RLR. That's huge. Yep, that's huge. Memorial Day coming too. I'm doing it tonight. Are you? Starting it tonight. A beef tonight in the crock pot. Eating it tomorrow. Treat myself. Be hard to sleep with that aroma lingering yeah, in, no. in the house. I'd just be so anxious. My body would be. You got to do it. Are you going to have beefs for breakfast? I'm not ruling it out. I'm, gonna, I'm going on like an all protein thing for a while because I weighed myself today and it was only a bad because scene. only because it's a it's a company product. I'll, it's okay beefs for breakfast. Okay, if it that, wasn't well, I mean, there's Chicago. some other com, things that if you have them for breakfast, you know they get the uh, the ire of the show. Anyways, yes. Frank, do you yeah. like any atypical breakfast food? Is there anything? Maybe do you like cheeseburgers for breakfast? Maybe maybe like a cold. You know, I'm not a I'm not a big breakfast guy. I I typically, my first meal is lunch. So I'm a night, first off, I'm a night out. Mm-hmm. So I typically wake up, uh, even when I come to the Barstool office at 9.30, and uh, it's like I'm dragging myself out of bed. And then I get to the office 11. I go to bed at 2 a.m. You know, it's kind of that's kind of my day. I, mm-hmm. I, I'm a night out. I, yeah. So I'm not a big breakfast guy. Frankie I, Midnight's not a nickname. Between, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, my first, my first meal typically is lunch. Nice. Okay. Congratulations, Carl, for winning that movie cry moments draft that was very close all the way around it looked like yeah it was a good good battle on the polls and uh you know we just get hot it's like one of these moments i'm i'm feeling very hot i think it's four of the last five for me but this it comes in clumps and then i won't win any for a while oops and uh you know what, you know, uh, you know what i was it, so. uh, surprised was left off et et uh leaving mm. yeah that's just, just missed that one yeah because i mean generation oh yeah, yeah 87 yeah. here mm-hmm. 87 86 yeah. Sorry, eight nineteen eighty six. Oh, ET. Yeah. I, I mean, I've seen it. Sure. I don't think it, it, it. No tears for me for ET. No. Yeah. Well, well, I, I, I saw it when it first came out when I was six, and I cried at that. That's mm. fair. It's a good film. Um, but yeah, that would have been a worthy selection. Uh, Frank, the last time you were on, like I said, we did soda pop. Uh, people love the combinations, so I'm like, you know, what? we got to stay in a beverage type category. So today we're doing beverages non-soda pop okay and we also made a stipulation here too it can't be like uh starbucks uh mocha latte or whatever it's got to be in the canned or the bottled section or wherever now okay <clears throat> question for clarity yes is all carbonation out shouldn't be no i don't think so okay i don't think so mm-hmm. but do you think so uh, well, no yeah, i mean soda's yeah. out right so yeah, so so out. Out. yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, 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 because that's now we're getting crazy. Yeah, we're not cutting out all carbonate. Uh, maybe I don't. Well, we I, could I do this. In, we could probably do two drafts of like non-alcoholic, non-soda beverages. Yes. that oh, are not carbonated. I was assuming that alcohol is out too. Yeah, alcohol you said is out. Yeah, yeah. alcohol is out. Said that too. Okay, yeah. so like right. this is a draft right. of beverages. They are not alcoholic. They are not you're, soda. You're getting refreshed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then, then the question White Sox Dave is posing is. 
do we draw a distinction for carbonation now at this level? We're at third level. We could we could throw in carbonation, and say non-carbonation. No, because I think I know what Perfect. Dave's alluding to, and like they're super hot in the streets right now. I know Chief loves them, so I'm sure he'll. Take I love it. them too, and I don't think it's a soda pop. Okay, right. I don't sure, think it's we're in that it, it is though. It, it's not. All right. It's like if in that in the industry, it's not. Okay. So I'd rather we'll talk about this stuff now than get into the third okay. round. So that's Let's just see. where I'm coming and, from. And are we distinguishing brands too? Yes. Okay. Brands and flavors. Okay. Okay. Brands and flavors, fellas. Right, Frank? You got that? Brands and flavors? Yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, he's ready oh, to oh, fucking rock. We're fucked. <laughs> we are fucked. Um, okay. Uh, we will do the order. Frank the Tank, number one through five. Uh, what number is behind Harry's back? What number's behind Harry's back? Number yeah. One through five. Uh, I'll go with uh, four. No. Carl. Two. Nope. One. Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I always get this. It's a coin flip. Three. Yes. Oh, wow. I'll take the first overall pick. Wow. Okay. White Sox Dave leading us off. Um, I'm going to say uh, three. No. T Frank. Uh, two. Yes. Whatever slot you want, Frank. Two through five, wherever you want. Draft order. I'll take two. Okay, Frank the Tank. Uh, Carl. One. Yes. I'll take the third overall spot. Chief. One. Yes. I'll take fourth. This is a problem. I had last pick in the uh, the pop soda pop draft too, and um, and yeah. I, I did not have a good. I draft. I picked third so. in that draft. Yeah. I had a good draft. So I'm I think scared. Frank you, picked second as well. I think this might be. Exactly Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> You could pull that up. Did yeah. you have the first pick in the soda pop? I track? can't remember. I'm Who pull took it Coke? Up. I'm going to pull it up. I think I took Coke, so All I think right. I was one. So we flip flop Chief and yeah. Dave. Um, I think you're in a good spot because you're behind me. And when these food and beverage ah, runs right. are coming, I. <laughs> Besides that, I'm though, they outside were, the box, they were right by each other. Fuck! I didn't. I don't want to be last. I'm. A, I'm scared. Um, but okay. Uh, the draft. Let's get underway. Before we do, though, I want to talk about another beverage that we love that's not eligible today because it is alcoholic. Mm. Can anybody here guess what that beverage is? I hope it's great tasting and less filling. Miller Lite. It absolutely is. Miller Lite is a light beer that's brewed for the people who want their light beer to taste like beer. It's more of the lo more of the taste you love with just 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces servings. Can't wait. I'm going home immediately after. I'm going to pop one of those after I'm done dealing with you guys. It's a hot day. It's a summer day. It's a Miller Lite kind of day. I can't wait. It's a deck wait. day. It is deck a deck and Miller day. Lite day. Can I come over? No, absolutely not. <laughs> it's unbelievable. That's so Chief's going to be enjoying them tonight on his deck. Yep. Um, it's it's really it's Miller season. It's always Miller season, mm -hmm. but, you know, they just hit a so little different, they, too, in the summer. Do. You yeah. know, they always do. So to get Miller Lite delivered right to your door, visit MillerLite.com slash Redline, or you could find it pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. Celebrate responsibly, Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Go grab some Miller Lite. Um, it's our favorite. You guys, I mean, it's, if you're watching on YouTube, you see our Blackhawks Miller Lite thing, you see the kegs, you see the Bulls one. A lot of Miller Lite in this office, so. Happy to be sponsored by them. Mm -hmm. um, all right, number one pick, the uh, beverage non-soda pop draft. White Sox, Dave, lead us off. Lemon, lime, Gatorade. Yeah. 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 I think that would have been my number one. Really? Yeah, I think that would have been my number one. It is good in every situation. Obviously, it's not a healthy drink by any means, so I try to limit them, but every single time I see them, it's like I, I don't even taste it. But I'm getting my thirst quenched. Remember when we were little and we thought it was like the healthiest drink? Oh, yeah, because the electrolytes <laughs> and the electrolytes, commercials. Yep. Yeah. Jordan looked fucking great with that sweat dripping off of him. Be like Mike. It used to be like the yep. healthiest drink you could have 20 years later. You know, I, it's I, like I'm drinking actually, a soda. Uh, I'm, older, I'm older than you, so I actually remember when uh, Gary came into glass bottle, glass I, bars. I have a very faint memory of that, too, Frank. I, I don't remember that. How was it, Tank? Better? It was better. Mm. It See, just hit different. But those those glasses were smaller. They were like a, a, a twelve ounce, where the the Gatorades oh, were like sixteen uh, or twenty. Talking, I'm, I'm talking about the, uh, there was one that was like like uh, like about a liter. They oh, make, really? Make glass liters. Mm. Damn. But yeah. That's also one of those things where I swear, like, if and I it was, had light. And he, my father still has the Gatorade jars. And he uses it to make his homemade iced tea. He puts homemade iced tea into the 
Gatorade glass jars, which are like almost 30 years item. old now because they haven't sold them in 30 years. And that, it's got that lightning bolt still on it. I mean, that those glass jars, the glass jars that the original Gatorades came in, well, those were much, that those hit different. Yeah. Now let's, you know, obviously it's the original flavor. Let's not name any flavors, but does do people think this is the best flavor? I think so. And it's one of the, it's one that it's like the staple. And I swear I could, I could chug those without any issue. I, like I get to do it in one sip on Sunday morning or Monday morning, having to catch that flight back Chicago from Boston. And I was on my deathbed and they had the little convenience cart by the uh, hotel lobby check-in area. And I did like two steps backwards. I'm like, I'll take two of these, charge them to the room. And I did it. And they were magical, Frank. <laughs> the, uh, the, yeah, the green Gatorade, the, the green Gatorade is just always been the, the, the rock star. It's always been the, the, the one everyone grabs first. It, it's the first the original. And that is why it's, that was a little bit of a controversial take right there. Yeah. Yeah. That was going to say, it is, is that a troll? It's yellow. It's not green. There's also a yellow Gatorade. No, it's, 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 it's that lime green. Ooh. All right, Frank, we got, we got, what we do got, you think? I, I'm, Color you know what I'm talking it's yellow. about. Yeah. It's yeah. yellow. Yeah. Well, but I, some it's people do green. say it's green. I'm sure it's got some cheesy name like like Thunder Yellow something, but it's Lemon Lime. Frank, now, does Lemon Lime Gatorade, Gatorade does it have any pairing with foods? Is there anything you can give me here? You know, I've never really Gatorade read did Gatorade with food. Because Gatorade, I think it's something you you just thirsty, you need something. Okay. All right. All right. I think a very worthy 1-1 one, one pick, White Sox, Dave, Gatorade, Lemon Line off the board. Frank the Tank, you're up. Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. Give it to the me, Frank. The red Kool-Aid. What does he say? The red Kool-Aid. And, and, and you know, the, the best one is not the Kool-Aid that you buy. You really can't buy Kool-Aid in a jar or something like that. It's the one that you mix. You get that smell. When you take that scoop, and you pour that powder, and it goes into the, uh, the pitcher, and that smell comes up. It goes right into your nose. I think that is one of the greatest smells that you could ever get is <laughs> when you're making Kool Aid. And, 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 and in fact, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna go home tonight. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make some Kool Aid tonight. I'm gonna make some Kool Aid. I got my night. I got my pitcher. My Mets pitcher get the night from a giveaway from like 1987. The cups have all like faded away and gone. But that Mets logo is still on it. I, I still use this picture for uh, every time I make uh, Kool Aid, and that smell, that smell when you get that that powder, and, and, and you pour it into the picture, and that some of the like the flakes come up in the air and are airborne particles. You actually inhale some nice. of the the uh, the, 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 uh, the sugar. And, yeah. And what do you say, Frank, while you make it? Give it to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! There we go. Baby. There we go, Frank. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, pairing-wise, I think nothing goes. I think the, probably the best thing you could get with Kool Aid is uh, is uh, maybe uh, uh, something a cookout. Yeah, Taking definitely. Kool Aid, uh, the Kool Aid pitcher out the out the outdoors and having a cookout with. It. I'm talking the the dogs and burgers off the grill, maybe. Uh, Someone brought a, a bucket of fried chicken. That's that's what Kool Aid goes with. That was beautiful, Frank. It is, and I, I have a feeling someone on this desk is not going to like Kool Aid. Show yourself. Me? I don't like. I don't well, like. I, just I don't like someone fruit would. punch uh, anything really. I I I can't. The I don't think I've had it in twenty years. But there's you got to recognize though. There's something about that. There, pic, like the way Frank described it. Oh, there's yeah. something that's Americana. Big time. And that there was like a nostalgia thing. It's like I haven't had it in twenty years. But when he describes it, I can taste it. Oh and yeah. The yeah. You can yeah. smell the grill you had going that with yeah, yeah, all yeah. your nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> you had that. Frank, do you have like a big? Uh, do you have like a big container of Kool Aid just like on the kitchen counter that you can go to? The way people keep sugar and flour and stuff, or do you use individual packets? Uh, I, I usually buy the, uh, the container. Yeah, and I have them up in my pantry. Uh, I mix it up, get the water in there, get my little wooden spoon, stir it up, mm -hmm. and like I said, I, I have my my uh, my nineteen eighty something Mets giveaway uh, Mets relief pitcher. With the Mets logo on it, still on there. Give uh, giveaway day at Chase Stadium like 34 years ago. 
That's unbelievable. That's what it's all about with the yeah. Kool Aid game too. Is having your having like the right Kool Aid cup. Yeah, mm-hmm. that Kool Aid's better because he has that pitcher from thirty plus years ago. Mm-hmm. We Easily, got residuals sure. in there. No oh, yeah. doubt yeah. in my mind, yeah. It's like the pizza ovens where they don't clean them out for 50 years. Or like those oak barrels. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, they're yeah, making yeah, wine yeah. or whiskey. It's like we're just going to reuse yeah. the same ones for 300 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kool-Aid's good. It's good. And it's Frank's reasoning behind it. It's got a lot of sentimental play there, too. Mm-hmm. Um, you can tell he's really passionate yeah, about it. Yeah, as far Kool-Aid. as beverage for beverage, I don't think it's the best, but I think it's, you know, I like the pick. I like the pick because it's, it comes from Frank's heart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Carl, you're up. I'm going to take an Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Okay. No, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. Does it have to be? Can I do? You're this do is like this Arizona is from one. Yeah, this is from like. Or can I? Can I make an Arnold Palmer at home? No, you're taking. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Well, you know, this guy's lighting off the bomb. <laughs> That's what I, he's doing. You just let Frank take a homemade drink, so, so you could. Oh my God! I didn't even realize that. Why didn't someone say <laughs> so? I didn't want to be the guy to be the veto guy. I was guy looking and, to just have some discourse here on the oh third no. pick. Why did I do this, Ed? Why the f- I didn't? That slipped my just mind. Just to be a dick. That's the <laughs> agent of chaos. That's all you were doing. It's That's no. You can mind. make it yourself. I no, think I, he's I, taking it all. Yeah, Palmer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm the Arizona. Well, that's that the original. Yeah, 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 it is. I'm taking the original. Are you sure it's the original iteration, Chief? I mean, people made it before, but yeah, that was the original branded uh, pre pre. I think drink. so. Yeah, it is. It, it absolutely is. They paid for it to have his face on the uh, mm-hmm. on the jug. And yeah, everything. that's the one yep. I want. Frank uh, Arnold Palmer guy. I know you liked his career. Do you like his beverage? Uh, the Arnold Palmer, uh, uh, my uh, internet connection is kind of a little bulky here. Uh, we got the great uh, Pete the Knight for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, just, Pete. Yeah, just curious, just curious if you find yourself sipping on Arnold Palmers, you know, in the summertime. Uh, oh. I kind of like the Arnold Palmer. It's not one of my favorites, but it's something I, I would drink if it was offered. Any uh, any good pairings, Frank? Uh, with Arnold Palmer, what would I do with that? You know, that's something that's just basic. I, I maybe a sandwich would go with that. A, a nice sandwich. Yeah, I I think of it as a golf course. So I'm getting a hot dog, mm-hmm. hot dog, and an Arnold Palmer. I think that's a way to do it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, so I mean, it's a, here's the other thing too, and this is a little bit more like draft strategy specific, but like I like lemon lime Gatorade. I think it's a great flavor. I know there's other flavors that I have no problem drinking if they're like the lemon lime's Mm -hmm. warm, you know, you go in the cooler and it's like, oh, they just restocked it. So like, okay, I'll take a different flavor. I'm not going to say it. And, you know, Kool-Aid too, there's competitors to me. I say this a lot with my first round picks, but I really do think that Arnold Palmer has its kind of own distinction. Yeah, it's very good. So it's very it's, good. It's I impulse buy these all the time. Yeah. 99. Are good. they 99 cent? Yeah. On the big can. Yeah. They still mm-hmm. never fucking like they don't keep up with inflation. No, they actually if you chart they it out, lose the money. price of Arizona iced tea relative to inflation. But then how much how, what were their margins in like the 90s then oh, if they were still charging 99 cents fucking for like thousand percent. Right. Who knows? Make them for a fraction of a cent. All right. Arizona Arnold Palmer is off the board. Uh, Chief, you're up. Oh man, what? I just the hesitation yeah, the, in the first round and the makes me, and puff. has me nervous already. Yeah, well, it, it, look, it is what it is. But I, I'm just gonna have a bottle of water with my first pick. No, I, you're not, dude. I am. I don't really pick a hate brand. It. Pick a I, brand. Oh, I'm picking a brand because there is one that stands above the rest, and I'm taking Icelandic Glacial. It is. I will stack that water over any other bottled water flavor in the world. I don't want to list them off, but I don't want to give away picks, but it stands alone as the clear number one. If you haven't had it, you're a fucking idiot, and it's the best. So, Icelandic Glacier, that's the pick. Frank, Icelandic Glacier parents? Uh, water parents? I can't. I don't like water with food. You don't uh, like water period. with food? You don't yeah, like water? I need something with flavor. That's like not that with, abnormal. I need something with flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, just no, be like, not. I don't no, like water. Not. That no, with food he said. With food, every single time you sit down to a restaurant, what do they pour you? Yeah, but then what do you drink later? But after, that's mostly that's that's a, that's what you drink before the food comes. Yeah, when the food comes, I want something with flavor. Wait, time out. We're, we're just gonna keep letting this guy get away with this. Get away Icelandic with what? Glacier. Well, that's I mean, the like, he's gonna get, here's the thing: is the fact he just took Icelandic Glacier. Right. 
fourth overall, uh, you you know what you're doing to yourself. You know you're going to jeopardize your it's, position on the pole. But it's and then fine. It's be, and it, yeah, but so. if you look back through my tweets in the last year or so, like I have, this has been an ongoing thing. I but who is taking this from you? I don't know. Who is taking it? No one. Look at I'm drafting. Barada gang, you can't, I, you know, I, I you can't keep tried sticking to sneak by water this guy. in there in the fifth or yeah, you, But you could still get water, Dave. I'm not saying water's a bad pick in general, but right here it's a bad pick. It's a pretty brutal pick. All right, but then no, it's not because like water is a worthy first round pick. You have a problem with the brand, it sounds like, and I don't want to take a secondary Gatorade. I don't want to take a secondary Arizona product. There is only one Kool Aid. The, the thing that's left here is a bottle of water. I didn't I'm, have water on my list. That's crazy. And you've drafted it high in other drafts. You, I, I don't know. Have I? I? Yeah, yeah you maybe. In this, uh, it's a hungover draft. Yeah, you drafted but it. Oh, it's a great hungover yeah. draft. Yeah. But I mean, it's a great. No, you can't. You know what you're doing. You, you know. can't possibly argue this right now. I, I was between. The reason I huffed is because do I want to take a second Gatorade or. And which is an inferior Gatorade in the first round, or the clear-cut number one best water in the world that I have a long history of tweeting about, I'm taking my water. And water's a great pick. It is I objectively just, a great pick. Water. We'll let the people decide. That's why we have a poll. Like, you're, it's no. like having Kyrie Irving on your team. That's just possibly absurd. Defending this guy. That's absurd. Kyrie Irving, because I took water. Icelandic glacial in the first Again, round. Again, like this is actually, you know what? I forgot. <laughs> Icelandic to, glacial. It's there in the face. My, my mom came down this, this weekend and she made a, she listens to the draft. She made a Costco run and got me like pounds and pounds of macadamia nuts. I meant to bring them in for this draft. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pass them around. But it, it's, look, I could, again, like I could take a more, water is the pick there. And it just comes down to your brand. It is. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. I don't Again, know. raccoon was, taste, raccoon taste, raccoon taste. I didn't Frank, say anything. Cool. I, I just, I mean, it's the uh, where I, it was drafted. Like I said, I, uh, Icelandic glacial is a, is a solid water. I, I will actually go with that. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not like he chose Dasani. Right. <laughs> that would be you know, like, that'd you, be... Know, uh, you know, I was watching some guy in the desert. He was struggling. He hadn't had to drink uh, in 18 hours. He was crawling. He was dehydrated. Uh, he was on the verge of death. And someone... He's going water, 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 and then someone brought him to Dasani, and then he continued to crawl as the Dasani was left on the uh, in the sand. Water, oh, but water, water. I, I believe it. Dasani's gross. I like it, Frank. Mm -hmm. Cross it off your list, Dave. If you had it, I'll say this: I drink water almost exclusively. As long as it's spring water, then I'm good with it. None are better, any better than the other. That, that's I used to think that. That's not true. Icelandic glacial. That All is right. true. Water is water unless it's Dasani. I didn't know water. You guys are like spring are water, water is I, so much better than oh, filtered, there's purified water, water. For sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's better for sure. brands. But yeah, but like, you just th that Icelandic glacial. That's waiting the, for you. Number twenty four. It's there. It's there. Pick by the way. Hey, uh, what, what is what is Evian spelled backwards? No, naive. Oh, thank you, Harry. Got it. Hmm. Naive. That was Byers. quick, Harry. That was a little too I quick. didn't hear what he said. Otherwise, I would have got <laughs> it. Sure. He's a Michigan man. Fucking Riddler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right. It's to me. Uh, I don't know how I'll follow this one up. Uh, I mean, here's the thing, though. But I guess it, it really does come down to preference. But I, I, I'm fine with what I'm going to take here, even though Chief's going to shit on it. I'm going to go with Capri Sun. <laughs> yeah. It, you get rewarded for being a fucking you know, your taste buds didn't evolve after but, second grade. But it's it's undeniable Capri that Sun. Capri Sun's awesome. The also only, not in in a convenience store. You're not finding that in a convenience store. But what do you mean? What when are you, you talking about? I, I said Jewel. I said grocery store. Whatever. You're okay. finding that. It's a beverage. No, he he's good there. The only drawback of a Capri Sun is it's like two sips of of liquid. Like, you give one squeeze and it's done. You ever done the Capri Sun Challenge? What's that? Don't 15 and 15 minutes. I'm, I'm not doing it. Don't try. If there's more in those little pouches than you think, that's all I'm saying. Because it originates, the challenge originates from the sentiment Dave just shared. It's like, oh, those things fly down. It's like, do and they, they really? Those, they don't. The, yeah. the All-time bad straw, too. Well, it's too so it's so small and narrow. You're just sucking that thing. It's like the McDonald's milkshake old straws when before they moved to the yep. cafe and you had, you would just get it out of the old fucking Coke, and, you know, same same uh, cup and a much higher rate of lost straws to other packages. Because the yeah, weak adhesive, yeah, it's, it's terrible. Bit, yeah, yeah, it's bad packaging. I won't say that that has that, those flaws. I'll admit it, but 
Capri Suns are fucking dynamite, and they got they got a big fan base. They're really good. Uh, and show me a person who hasn't been to like a a first birthday that hasn't snuck one of the old Capri Suns as an like it's it happens. I oh, know you'll agree there's been a few least. here. Yeah, before. Yeah. I I am a Capri Sun guy. I've drafted Capri Sun in our uh, I think it was our lunch. Yeah, I think you did too. School lunch mm-hmm. draft. You know, I, I guess Frank, do you remember when Capri Sun hit the market? Was this like an alternative to the juice box where they're like, oh, you know, like paper box yes. juice boxes are bad for you. So here is this like plastic or metallic or what? What was like the value? It was. It, it, it basically was marketed that basically this is a. Uh, uh, more compact. It was uh, the, ju- the juice kept cooler. You know. Mm-hmm. I like it. I mean, I like, it makes sense then why you think like the Capri Sun you get like because it's kind of metallic in your hand, right? It's elite, man. Yeah, it's an elite. And, 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 if, and if you wanted uh, uh, if pairing with that, it has to be the PB and J. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. It's got to be. <laughs> it's th- it's got to be. You're in your right. You're right, Frank. <laughs> Um, also, obviously, the Lunchable. Huge with the Lunchable. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, a match made lunchable. in heaven, really. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, I'm Wait. up again. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to go with uh, Peach Tea Snapple. And same thing. Have they completely transferred out of glass bottles, Frank? Uh, I still could. Uh, I think if you buy, like, a 12-pack, it still comes in glass bottles. But it, it's... That glass bottle is going away, and that that takes away the magic of Snapple. It so does. The magic of Snapple is is you open it, you hear that. <laughs> you know what I love to do with those two? Thanks, Give them a little yeah whack on the bottom. On the bottom. It doesn't do anything, but, but it I sounds do. good. Yep. Yeah. I think it does do something. It I think if it's anything. really tight, you think so. You just you. I and you get the uh, what's it, you get too. a fact on the uh, can. That's a different brand. No, no you no, use Snapple no. facts. You get Snapple fact too. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Great <laughs> texture on the glass <laughs> bottle too. Snapple what? fat. They had like the raised glass. You know the texture when you you, you get the uh, the shape was unique. I thought the molding was unique for the glass bottles of Snapple. And I also thought the logos have a very good vibe to them. Like the the logo and the uh, the the illustration mm-hmm. on a Snapple bottle really makes you feel like you're back in time drinking like old like when it first came out it was like a very yep. good feeling to drink a snap they also yeah. had that great uh tagline it was made from the best stuff on earth and it was mm. like well then it's all same thing gotta be healthy gotta be good and peach is the best i don't know that's my opinion strongly i don't know we don't name other flavors but oh well, then why bring it i mean you i'm just saying like i that. just want to distinguish that too in case someone tries to go to the snapple category again well you you basically just, yeah, it, that was, you told us that you think it's the best flavor well, I know, but I just wanted I'm putting my flag down now in case someone tries to come back. It might happen. And uh, very possible. Did you I just know, try to intimidate us out of, yeah, out of, yeah, out of future picks? Yeah, yeah, that, was, that was like a big red head move, yeah, I'm actually. Not against that. Yeah. yeah, I'm not okay. I'm not I'm not better than that. I'm not better than intimidation. Um yeah, I love my back to back picks there. Chief, you're up. Uh Martinelli's apple juice. So what's that face? Now, is that the one that you could scratch? No, it's or, a special bottle. It's like the little squat bottle. It is, like they would sell It's a them, fancy boy bottle. They, they sell them at Potbelly's. I know, but it's fancy. They sell them at Chipotle. They're, listen <laughs> to me. Whether or not they sold them at fucking Why is Walmart, it fancy? it's, it's a, a fancy packaging. Do. It's a nice, it's a distinguished packaging. It's, it's definitely fancy. <laughs> Come it's on. not. Dude. It's probably got the exact same <laughs> price point. <laughs> we do it. Listen, we're not even 30 minutes in, and you've been outed as an alien four times today. Oh, this is like... I mean, uh, you would find this in like the Hamptons, or <laughs> like you guys what? are just absolute scumbags, dude. They sell a four pack. Just... The, it's bottled to look like a, like an apple, right? Isn't it? It's like the shape of an apple. Yeah, it has a little leaves on top. Is that the one that smell or like one of them? You could you could. So, I mean, USA fresh grown apples. So filtered or unfiltered? With... Filtered or unfiltered? I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I make 25 beverage big boards. I could just make 20 with Chief Draft. Seriously. It's, but again, like... Don't know why I do it. You should... What you should do to expand your horizons and lift yourself out of the second grade is look at my draft and then go to the <laughs> store and try these things so you're not a fucking grown-up baby, an adult infant for your entire life. Listen, I don't I don't think many of us drink a lot of this shit anymore, but I'm just saying, overall, like, if you're going to go for one, these are some solid options. That's all I'm saying. Why would I take something that I no longer drink? I just had an apple juice. I tweeted about that, like, last week, too. Yeah, you were it you were on awesome. Team Apple Juice yeah. the other week. Well, I'm not buying Capri. I don't know. Whatever. Well, then I'm you not. should take things that you drink and enjoy still, to this day. I still love, I still do enjoy. Not enough to buy it. 
Frank, well, without yeah, giving away weird. other juices, do you really like apple juice? Is it is it a juice you frequently reach for? No, it isn't. Uh, but it's something that every now and then I get a little strange craving for. It's so crisp. It's light. I don't know how it took a backseat to other fruit juices because I think it is the Big best. Big fruit. I agree on that. I, actually, I don't even think it's a totally bad pick. If this is your favorite apple juice. Yeah. Uh, you, know, yeah. You, know what apple, you know what apple juice slash apple cider goes good with? Oh, this is not apple cider, which I also but he's, like. Yeah. Cider is better. <laughs> I mean... Well, I just wanted to make sure he said he was having audio problems. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure he knows what's <laughs> up. Oh, he said he had internet <laughs> problems. He's on tilt. He's, 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 he's on tilt. I'm sorry. Either, 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 either apple juice or apple cider. Okay. A good pairing is that um, day after or uh, midnight snack of turkey sandwich on Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Did not see that coming at all, but I think Ooh. that makes sense. <laughs> For that, that four hour window in the year. Apple yeah. what a, what I, lo a, I love Apple Frank, cider what a poll. What what this is why we consider you the all time pairing expert. That is that's a tremendous poll. It, listen, twenty twenty two Thanksgiving, if I'm not getting if we're all not getting people tweeting at us some fucking apple juice yeah. with their late night sandwich, I don't want to do this show anymore. No. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. Thank you, Frank, for Thanks, enlightening Frank. everybody. This is what the people came for. Uh, Martinelli's apple juice off the board. Carl, uh, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go Oberweiss chocolate milk. Mm. I'm going to go Oberweiss chocolate milk. We're going to go in the dairy section. We're going to go in the refrigerator. I don't know if we're going to bring the bottle back for the deposit, but I don't know if, if people outside the Midwest have Oberweiss, but I, I love an Oberweiss chocolate milk, and a good chocolate milk goes a very long way. It's almost its own meal in and of itself if you have a good one. Carl, that's the best chocolate milk. But people won't know because I think it's only Illinois. The guy, the Oberweiss guy, was he ran for Congress yeah. Yeah. from yeah. Kane County. So I remember seeing the signs uh, everywhere growing yeah. up. Yeah. Like Stu Leonard's is probably the comparable on the East Correct. Coast or whatever. Yeah. But Correct. it's, you know, it's, all, it's yeah. like our standalone dairy yeah. going there for ice cream. and But well, like high end, not like Dunkin' Donuts, you'd go get some ice cream. Right. It's, like a, it's like a nice chain. And, and Stu Leonard's dairy. is like a full grocery store. Mm, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Or otherwise, it's just like and, we do milk. And mm. Stu Leonard's has like a cream. special, they have a special like cookies, cookie milk that comes out at Christmas and a special milk that comes out at Easter, like it the looks, Easter bunny milk, they call it. It looks tremendous. I, I don't I, I wish we had a little bit. Oh. Every time I see Clem <laughs> talk about I'm it, I'm like, oh, come on, yeah. I, That's When Clem was here a couple weeks ago, I was like, Clem, can I come over and go to Stu's? Stu's is awesome. Yeah. They I have like, a field been? trip. They, have my, they used to have one in my Nana's hometown and they have all like these dancing robotic like oh, cows, the, the, or, like the, the Chiquita the banana. Animatronics at two the animatronics at two are second to none. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're walking down there and all of a sudden uh, you're going to the, uh, the food section and you have these uh, avocado singing avocados, avocados, <laughs> we make a delicious snack for avocados, the avocados, we're gonna make it in the back. That's unbelievable, Frank. They got second to none animatronics while you get your cookie milk i mean it's better than going to like disney like they're like you feel like you're at it's it's a small world ride it's, it's great. great frank any pairings with chocolate milk what was that any good <laughs> pairings with chocolate milk oh cookies yeah obviously cookies mm -hmm. all right i uh, could drink that entire gallon in one day i bet of over ice chocolate milk. why don't we it is I'm do you think you could drink the whole gallon during next diet. draft? No. no. That'd be great. Remember we did that once. It was but a it was half gallon. I got it down in like five minutes. My internet's doing the crazy thing again. Oh, is it? Um, hey, damn, everybody. Thank Pete for my internet. Thank you, Pete. What the fuck, yeah, Pete? It's, uh, you can find Pete on uh, Twitter easily, too, so make sure you let him know. Tag him in when this is uploaded. Yeah. So I'm not a milk guy at all, but Oberweiss always. So mm. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Frank the Tank, you're up. If you could hear us, brother. All right. Uh, Lipton Brisk Iced Tea in the can. This iced tea is tastes better at room temperature, and you can't sip this iced tea. No, you got to take this iced tea. You got to open up the 12 ounce can, and you got to chug it down within one minute because that is when it takes optimal taste. And the best thing to pair it with this. Is a nice bag, a little bag there of the Frito Lay's corn chips. I mean, that Lipton Brisk iced tea. I mean, it just you just chug it. <laughs> you, you can't even sip this thing. I mean, you got most. Do you think about tea? You think about sipping? No, this is brisk, baby. 
Lipton Brisk Iced Tea. With Fritos. Uh, Fritos is the move. Is that what he said? Yes. Wow. Did you guys know that one? Uh, I mean, I learn something every time I get on a, a call at Frank. <laughs> Lipton Brisk. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm glad you said can, too. That's important, I think. I think that's very important. I yep. don't know if you guys agree with that. Yeah, no, the can's a big t- big deal. They had a great marketing uh, campaign, I think. It was like in the early 2000s or late 90s. Who was involved in that? I like, vaguely remember this. I know. Too. Where they would have like, they had like claymation or something. It would be people yeah, like sweating their ass they a, off. They had like, they had a claymation uh, of Babe Ruth. Yes. Mm. And he'd be like sweating his dick off and be like, that's brisk. <laughs> and the lemon flavor, I assume, right, Frank? The, the, yeah. All right. The, the, uh, the standard original lemon iced tea brisk in a can. And it has to be in a can. The, the, the lemon iced tea in a bottle doesn't taste the same. That, that's an ordinary iced tea. It tastes like it, it's, it's, it's white noise. The Lipton brisk in a can, bar none. D- just to has, clarify, just did, I, did I hear you say you it's better at room temperature? Yes. Wow. Hmm, that is that is interesting. It, it, honestly, it, 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 if it gets too cold, it loses its it, it loses its bite. Hmm. Interesting. All right, Frank. Uh, well, damn. I think that's a very good pick there, number nine. That's that's a strong non soda pop beverage. I agree, Frank. Um, with Fritos, particularly. Uh, White Sox, Dave. I'm gonna go Arizona iced tea with lemon. Get big gallon jug. It's the best. Arizona Super fucking Arizona. refreshing. See, you know what my problem with Arizona is? Is there's so many of them. I don't really like. This is their standard. This is their, this is their number standard. one. Yeah, yeah. Their it's their chalk. It's a good pick, Dave. You know, if I don't have an Arnold Palmer, I'm going for it. I think it's a, I think it's a fine replacement to that. Uh, Arnold Palmer has a sl- you know little bit better branding, um, but Arizona iced tea just kills, man. I mean, it fucking kills it's the best. Yeah. Can I assume? I'm talking the gallon. Oh, you want the gallon? Right. Gallon. Mm, all right. Yeah, go to the gallon. Or, or the, I mean, the can is the same thing because it's not carbonated. But um, Well, some would say different. I wouldn't for this one. But sometimes, yeah, yeah. for sure. But it's not Like a, brisk is a big difference between I don't know if I've, and, I can't even tell you the last time I've gotten brisk anything. Um, I But like Coke in a can versus Coke in the bottle, totally different. Yep, agree. But uh, this, I don't. I think the difference, if there is any, it's negligible. I love this fucking drink. And now that it's hot again, I'm gonna start buying it again. Frankie, are you laughing right now? This guy took an inferior uh, lemon iced tea in your eyes. Uh, Arizona iced tea. That, yeah, that's when you go to the store and you basically look and say, "Huh, no, that's the only brand they have." <laughs> I, I wow. I, I'm intimidated by Frank. I don't like picking after him on the wraparounds <laughs> right now. <laughs> that is intimidating. That's so you're you're not a big fan, huh, Frank? I uh, I think that Arizona is inferior. Mm-hmm. Anybody no. else? No, no opinion really. No, I mean just it's it's a good take from Frank, and it's a balanced take, and it's a guy who's been there before. So I don't really think there's much of a reason to do battle with him on this. This is a guy who's who's routinely in the beverage aisle. So yep. you guys are afraid to go against Frank. Well, I, think, I mean, he's I got good Arizona's fucking better. takes. No, but I, I no, I you think Arizona is better than Brisk? I do. Oh, okay, I just disagree. Yep. Um, so I'm not afraid to go no. against him, but I just disagree. And I don't, I, I don't, I don't hate Arizona. I think, yeah. I think Arizona. I mean, I think it's a clear cut number one. Yeah, really clear cut. I do too. I think everything. House else div- is Did you say? Did you weigh in, Carl? House divided. You be the tiebreaker. Uh, um, White Sox, Dave, you're up again. I'm down to two things that I really like, but um, I'm just gonna go with I'm gonna go with what's simple. I'm gonna go with simply orange orange juice. Orange juice is by far the best fruit juice. No. By far. Wrong. Apple juice stinks. You're wrong. Apple juice, it doesn't stink. It has its time and place. Orange juice you can drink with any meal. Apple juice is apple juice is a kid's drink. You're talking about Ed growing up. Orange juice, like apple. you stop drinking apple juice more as you get older. I, I mean, I just had it with you in Nebraska. That was one of the places. I didn't I, have any. Breakfast when the continental breakfast? We did. I didn't have any or, or apple juice. You're telling the truth. I am telling the truth. Okay. I, I never go out of my way for apple juice. I mean, Didn't I don't have to it's dislike right it, but I'm not like, oh, look, there's apple juice. I have to have it. I think it's great. Orange juice is a thousand times better. And simply orange, 
The only thing I don't like about it because it grosses me out is when they put them on the shelves in grocery stores, all the pulp, like it settles at, at the, the bottom, bottom so yeah. it separates so it looks all gross and congealed. All you got to do is give it a little shake. And that well, pulp. Yeah, or get I no mean, pulp. If, if you I don't shake pulp. your orange juice. Pulp's better. I mean, what are you, a savage? <laughs> if pulp. you don't, what'd you say, Frank? If you don't shake your orange juice, it's, you, that, you're a savage. I mean, yeah. Oh, of course. You know, if you yeah. have orange juice, you have to shake it. If it's not pulp, you don't. You like pulp, you said? I love pulp, yeah. yeah. I'm not a pulp guy. Should have seen that coming. Um, what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? I, I, I just could have. If you asked me if you're a pulp or no, non pulp, I would have said pulp just because you're. Are you pulp or no pulp? No pulp, of course. Okay. No but, pulp here. Carl, no pulp? <laughs> no pulp. pulp. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like White Sox Dave, it's just. That's not a weird thing. No, it's not. It's not weird at what all. He, what he's saying is that if, like, we're like no pulp and you're like pulp. Yeah. If if you're at a breakfast diner and you get a glass of orange juice, it's got pulp in it. I love that, love it. You ever see the uh, you ever see the, uh, the scene in The Sopranos? What's this? It's a gross hand. I thought you like some pulp. Some pulp. Some pulp. This is all pulp. Yeah. It's garbage. It's fighting with Carmella. Not too much. Yeah. yeah. Um, what pairs well with the OJ, Frank? Graphics. Okay. Definitely. And I'm talking about um, toast, eggs, anything graphics. Mm -hmm. You get that nice little sweet flavor from the orange juice to the nice salty flavor from the bacon. Great, great pairing. And yep, it's an unbelievable pairing. hangover cure, orange juice is. So it's got that going for it too. Did you take the best one though? That's what people are wondering. I love that's the one I always Simple buy. is your favorite. I like Simply their orange. packaging the best. That big green. It might that that's, might be why I subconsciously yeah. buy it often because it's just you know, simple and to the it's point. Clean. Mm -hmm. I I think I think that I think that probably is the best orange juice. Hmm. hmm. Gorilla. I like one. I think more, but to each their own. It's it's good. It's a good pick, David. Uh, Frank the Tank, you're up. All right. This one may not be around anymore, but it was around, and it's a classic drink. It's in. It's uh, something that comes back every now and then. It's high C Ecto Cooler. Fuck, Fuck yeah, Frank. it's over. Frank won. Frank just won. So we could stop the draft right now. High C Ecto Cooler is like culturally one of the most significant beverages. Oh of all yeah, time. that like I, I, that was one. Of I those, mean, go ahead, Frank. It, it was originally called Cactus Cooler, and then with the popularity of uh, the original Ghostbusters. It became ecto cooler, and it just when whenever they and it and it goes away and it comes back, it goes away. It, it, whenever it comes out, you got to make sure you get down the juice box aisle and you get that get that mm. ecto cooler again, just just so you taste a little bit of your childhood again. Do you have like a notification on your phone to let you know when it's back in stock at the local the local shop, right? Ah, uh, no, but uh, if I get like a notification on Twitter, I definitely have to go and make sure I get it. Just, just a taste of it. Just a taste, a taste of it. It's like, it's like the McRib of, uh, of uh, soft drinks and uh, beverages. It doesn't come out too often. When it does, everyone just has to go and make sure they get it. It's a, <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a fantastic pick, Frank. I was between this and Capri Sun. I went Capri Sun, but this is Adam Richman has a show on the Food Network now where he just busted open one from like the '90s and he drank it. It was because I don't think it looks like it came out last year before the new one came out but not the same but the packaging everything's cool yeah that was one of those things Slimer. like you know your mom would get like the big package of the variety pack but when you walked into school with an ecto cooler you got a little pep in your step like you knew lunch was going to be great mm -hmm. yeah every, every, and everyone that didn't have ecto cooler was wow <sighs> now i remember well you didn't know before we, i i do now i was like I, ecto cooler didn't ring a bell to me oh, i yeah, just looked Slimer, it up dude. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I don't know Frank, why they took it away. Just bring it back permanently. The fuck? Yeah, it's probably they probably know what they're doing with that. I'm guessing. Frank, what does it even taste like? I don't remember. It's I don't know that I do like either. A, it's kind of like a lime, limeish type of drink. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't really like like a, like have a citrusy lime. It's like a, it's like a, like an artificial lime, but somehow it just tastes so good. All right. Yeah, that's awesome. Great pick, Frank. Good pick. So you like that one, but you don't like Capri Sun, just to be clear. Uh, I don't hate Capri Sun. I just think Capri Sun is like the thing you talk about is one squeeze and it's gone. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then you you always had to fight with that fucking straw. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's true too. It's true. Sometimes too. it goes all the way through. Oh, that's a problem that's too. A, yeah. yeah, that's a big deal. 
You just ruined your day with that. Yep. Uh, one second here. Just want to look something up. Uh, Capri Sun, six ounces. Uh, Ecto Cooler, 6.5. So just putting that out there. With the little uh, half ounce? Carl, you're up. I'll take our first energy drink. I'll take a sugar-free Red Bull. It's in the same aisle. I understand functionality. Maybe, maybe we're not refreshing ourselves here, but a good non-alcoholic beverage should be able to be play as a mixer and should be something you're going to want in the fridge. Like it's not necessarily about, you know, thirst and quenching. Sometimes it's about functionality, getting yourself a buzz. I very much like my Arnold Palmer one. I like my chocolate milk two. I'm kind of going down the line a little bit. I want to add the third pillar to my draft and that's the energy component. And I'm going to take my, the one I grabbed the most and that's the sugar-free light blue Red Bull. Do you hate the pick? No, I don't. I don't hate it at all. At all. I don't love it. I think. I, I mean, it. obviously, like I think the regular one tastes better, but the sugar free, I understand it's fine. Because I don't want eight ounces. If like when you were younger and, and eight ounces hit a little bit harder than it does when you're 35 and you've been putting uppers in your body for the totally. last 20 fucking totally. years. Yeah, so yeah. like, <laughs> you have to switch at some point. Yeah. Yes. So now that I'm moving into like, okay, well now I'm reaching for 16 ounces and 20 ounces. It's just absolute fucking suicide yes. to be putting the regular stuff Correct. in your body. That, so. I, I know. I know. Uh, I like Monster better too, though. But so do yep. I. Yep. Yeah. And oh, yeah. we've had that. Yeah, we got into this. We got. I mean, oh, but we've sorry. we've had that discussion. That's not the first time yeah, we've had yeah, that yeah. discussion here. And, and I, I feel like Red Bull tastes like chemicals. Like it, it's really? like you can taste the metal, you can taste the chemicals. Like the, it's you have to you have to slug it down. Mm -hmm. Where the, the, the there are Monster brand Monster flavors that I'm like, this is actually good. Sounds like you agree, Frank. Oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. Do you drink caffeine, Frank? You, other than other than obviously your your traditional soda sources. Uh rarely will I drink an energy drink. Yes, mainly I'm just a soda, soda, soda. Yeah. So you don't like the pick? I don't hate the pick. Oh, okay. Okay. The true professional. All right. Poss you know what? Uh, anything that pairs there? Slim Jim, maybe? Anything else? <laughs> oh no, no. If you're drinking an energy drink, you're just drinking that just to. Not fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and perhaps a Slim Jim, maybe, but nothing that I would think of. Perhaps. Good guess, good perhaps. Guess. Uh, Chief. I will go with the same brand as Dave, but I'm going to get the lemonade. So simply lemonade. Uh, maybe it's just the weather outside today, but there is something about lemonade in the summer that just hits, and I think that is the best brand. Um, uh, I think that's all I got on that. Simply Lemonade, refreshing. It's like one of those classic, like you t I think you said Americana about something earlier. Like this yeah. to me is like you have it in a pitcher, you have it in that, that plastic with the green top. It's it's always great. I water it down, but it is great. Yeah, that's the only problem with lemon. It's instant heartburn. It's so acidic. Instant. I go half lemonade, half half water, and you get the same. You know what? Head. You know what's good with the Simply Lemonade? What's that? Fish sticks. <laughs> fish sticks yeah i can see that because you get fish and chips on a friday night fish fry you sprinkle a little lemon on that battered cod frank hell yeah and you're right it, and you get a nice you get a nice little bottle of uh, the, the, the simply lemonade to have at your fish i want frank to be a judge on like chopped or something wow frank that would be amazing that would be amazing Frankie wow Midnight. wow well, the fact that we don't have a show where you have to prepare food for Frank in, in some sort of elimination style is insane. Yeah. Like, hey, this would have been better if you would have paired it with Fish Day. There should be a pairing show. Iron yeah. Frank. Like, instead yes. of Iron Chef, it's Iron Frank. Yeah. And it's not like you have to beat Frank. You just have to win his approval. Like, right. you have to get Frank. Yeah. And, but but the, basically, Frank never approves anything. Simply lemonade and fish sticks. I never saw it coming. But it makes sense. Yeah. It yeah. definitely makes sense. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> He like, had that ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> how often, Frank, how often do you go to Fish Sticks? Once a month? Uh, during Lent, maybe I'll have it like uh, twice a month and then maybe uh, two or three other times during the year. Mm -hmm. That's a good Catholic right there. I used to house those fucking things. It's good distribution, too, to have that. Kind yeah. Of. Wow. Unbelievable, Frank. Um, okay, it's to me. Um, I'm going to go with the Pure Leaf Sweet Tea. Good pick. Big fan of those on road trips. You guys are, this is like the T-Boys. Oh, you are so close, Ed. You, you are so close. You don't like that, Brian? No, no, no. I love it. I get it. All the, This is my trick with these is I'll drink half of them before a flight. I'll throw in a dip, and it looks like I'm not dipping because it's the same yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't uh, like that sweet tea flavor the most. Is that what you're saying? 
you were you were very close. Okay, I like the sweet tea. Uh, that the square carton is nice. It's got an easy cap, yep. and it just tastes good. I don't like the bottle shape because oh, I, I like yeah because I, like I, I do like that. I like a round. I like a round uh, a canister, I suppose. Or you know, you know who else has a, a square? Bless you, Frank. A square uh, bottle. Thanks. Icelandic glacier. Oh, they do. They oh, sure do. Uh, they do. Uh, that is you. true. They do have one. Um, Frank, you got a little bit of uh, the allergies going or something? Pollen counts high. What was that? Yeah, the pollen, the pollen count say is just ridiculous in New York. You got a handkerchief, Frank? Was that what that was? Yes. What yes, color? I, do. I use a handkerchief. Uh, Let's pull that out one more this time. This is kind of it's actually it's kind of like a, uh, a bandana I use for my handkerchief. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's got like a blue and greenish. Yeah, that's pretty Feel sick. It. Handkerchief, yeah, like a Ninja Turtle. Um, yeah, I'm happy to have this here. It's different than and an iced tea. I'm, and of course, I'm dealing with a toothache, so oh, I am too. I actually, I think I need a root canal, Frank. I might need one too. I I just hate going to the dentist. I have to go in the next week or two. Yeah. Uh, I st- uh, what do you think about this sweet tea, Frank? I don't really love the sweet tea. I no. I, I, I like the sweet the, the the iced tea with lemon. The sweet tea just comes out kind of bland to me sometimes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. So mix mix reception, I'd say. Uh, okay. Back to me. Fuck. This is tough. Chief, you know where my dilemma lies right now. Who knows what your brain is thinking? <laughs> um, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna true to myself here. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. I love vitamin water uh, dragon fruit. The red one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's, it's a distinct flavor, Ed. Yeah, I, I really like the vitamin water, dragon fruit. Um, the, the I like vitamin water better than Gatorade because I don't Ooh. know, it, like it just doesn't. I don't know. It, it's not as sharp. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just not as sharp. Mm-hmm. So the only like I remember um, hearing about you know vitamin water was taken off. It was like the first real. Um, newcomer to that space. It was like Gatorade versus, you know, the other one for a while. And then these guys came along and then they're like, no, we put vitamins in it. And then I learned by the time you consume it, all of those vitamins have been evaporated through the plastic. Yeah. So like it's just mm-hmm. sugar water. Not saying yeah, it, it absolutely is, but so um, I don't, I, I like Gatorade better across the board. Yeah. I'm just I, like it. Uh, I'm glad you, you picked it, it more. Credit to you. I could have taken something that would have gone way better over on the graphic, but mm-hmm. I really like these. It's they're just they're smooth. Yep, that's the best thing to say about them. They're smooth. I don't know if I've ever had them. No, no. I've had vitamin water. I don't know if I've had this one. You've had it's the light red. Yeah, I'm that's sure. I, have, I feel yeah. like that's maybe their best seller, right? Yeah, it's yeah. that or the okay. triple X is the dark red. The mm-hmm. light red. So yeah, if you've had the light red, you've had it. Um, I really like it. Uh, Frank, vitamin water guy? No. No. No, I don't really like. Uh, I don't really no. like vitamin water. Couldn't have shut that door. T- it, it tastes like it tastes like just something that's just watered down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Fine. Chief. I'll go with. Uh, I'll take the sparkling water that Dave was alluding to earlier. Um, I'm thinking Lacroix, and I'm taking the the grapefruit. I don't know why they Pample call. Mousse. I don't know why they call it pamplemousse. I knew you were going to take pamplemousse. It's <laughs> the best one. I had one yesterday. So. Um, after I indulge in three chi, I swear to God, I could go through an entire pack in a night. And now you don't feel guilty about it whatsoever. So when I was, you know how like when you're, you know, approaching the clothes, they're like, I got to just cut down on everything. I try to cut down on my intake of sparkling water. I go, I go through maybe like fifty cans a week. Like not a joke. Oh, yeah, like I I'm, house them. I'm more like. A case every 10 days. Oh, that doesn't do But it. I mean, there'll be nights where I just, I'm like one after the other, because usually I fill up a, a gallon jug with, with tap water and I mm. drink out of that. Um, but if I have pample, I'll buy pample mousse specifically to mix it with uh, vodka. It's also and then, good for that. And then I'll have a ton left over and I'll go through them in pretty quickly. I It would be a r- very rare occasion for somebody to come over and open my fridge and not see them in there. I, I can verify that claim. Can I give you a fun fact about LaCroix? Sure. It's made by the same people who make Old Style. No shit. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. We made or distributed? Like the people who bottle it or the people who it sell it? Hellman's or whatever? You know, it's on the yeah, top yeah, of yeah. the can. Uh, um, yeah. Those 
No, I don't, I don't think you. We want to bring up. Uh, well, actual, we're Miller Lite company, but no, no I just wrong. mean well, like their their owner is not the best. Really, he's got a, he's got a lot of legal problems. We'll see. Yeah, I the mean, old I, man. I, I can't. Heilman, Heilman, Heilman's is the fucking mayonnaise. Uh, Did, you said Adam Merchant earlier. Didn't he get canceled? That was the old man versus food guy, right? Yeah, he's back. He's back. It wasn't like oh, a I hard cancel, I guess. Though. Yeah, um, but yeah, I make. They, I'm pretty sure it was they make that Lacroix. That, that threw me for a loop. That Two is very surprising. different products. I, I fucking love Pamplemousse Lacroix. It was I love the pick. It's probably going to get shit on, I would imagine, but I love it. Why would it be shit on? I feel like it uh, as a sparkling water or just the flavor. No, you'll have a you'll have some uh, pr- because it's water, just flavored water, carbonated water. Mm-hmm. I feel like that we. I are mean, technically, the- it's soda water. Frankie, Not that. there's no sugar. Frankie, you into Lacroix? Did he? Did he say soda that? water? She has no, carbonated water. I don't like Lacroix. Yeah. I, I I really dislike that soda water with the that that uh, seltzer water. I just truly dislike it. Mm-hmm. See, I feel like it's it's not soda because there's no it's it's not a soft drink because there's no other ingredients. It's just natural flavor. It's zero calorie, all that. But it's like a cousin of those, Frank. Like, are you so? No, just nothing. I've tried it, and every time I just just you need the extra like sweetness. It. Okay. Okay. I need the extra. The Try extra sweetness. putting some of that uh that Kool Aid mixing them. That could be interesting. I think we lost. Right, here we go again with another internet adventure. Unbelievable! God, God I'm, damn, I'm fucking, fucking Pete. No, yeah, we can hear. Like, we can hear you, Frank. Can you see me now? Yep. Yeah, we could see. You. We got you the whole time. You're okay. Um, Carl, well, we got to once again. Let's give a big shout out to let's give a shout out to all business Pete for keeping the internet running here real smooth. Thank you, Pete. Unbelievable, Carl. What a fucking dick. Mm-hmm. All right, so I, I'm I'm in between two. This is the uh, we're making the turn. This is where I think a lot of drafts are going to get separated. Did I get skipped? No, no, no. You're after did Carl. Did I get skipped? Where you're, am I? You're after Carl. You're, you're, you're right next. after me here, uh, Frankie. <clears throat> So I'm in between one that's that's probably widely better, widely known as as a fucking beverage, and then ah oh, fuck. There's me. a few heavy hitters out there. Still. No, you didn't. I'm just thinking through it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take um, giving Frank false flags here. Fucking fuck! I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take Hawaiian Punch. I'm gonna take Hawaiian okay. Punch. Uh, I'll take the gallon jug that's kind of oddly shaped. You know, it's like squirts wider, then it gets narrow, and then it gets wider at the top. Yeah. It's got the cap that comes with the holder for it. Um, much it's, much better than Capri Sun. Thank you. Chief. No, say. it's not. Thank yeah, it you. Is. No, it's fucking yep. not. What like that was? Uh, was it in Billy Madison where he had the? Hawaiian punch water fountain. It's like Mr. Deeds. Mr. Mr. Deeds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause it's just no like, no way. Is yeah, that. it is. Yeah. No it is. way. This is way sharper. Like I keep using that word, but it's a thing. I would much rather have Hawaiian punch I than Capri Sun. And I don't hate Hawaiian punch. Hawaiian punch. Hawaiian punch. It, it's solid. I actually had that. Uh, my things I was considering picking. Let's go, Frank. Let's fucking go. I've been waiting to get a pick on the board that you like. I stumbled a little bit with Diet Red Bull. Obviously, you're not an overwise chocolate milk guy. Maybe Arnold Palmer, but here I am in the fourth round getting a little bit of approval from Frank, and I got a lot of momentum going in the fifth round because of it. I, I appreciate that you went gallon. The old, uh, that gallon has been poured into thing. so many jungle juice yep. jugs. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You just dumped that thing upside yeah. down. You know, the Hawaiian Punch character, too, whoever the logo or whoever Mr. Hawaiian Punch is. Punchy. 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 I was going to say, nobody <laughs> knows his name except for Frank. <laughs> Punchy. Punchy such, takes such a back seat to, like, the Kool-Aid man and some of the other big characters in the in the non-soda, non-alcoholic beverage industry. So, I, you know, punching in the fourth round. Give Punchy some love. Yeah. Hawaiian Punch. Frankie, we got a parent? <laughs> uh same thing I would do with Kool Aid. It's 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 a, 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 a soda you yeah, it's something you not a soda but a, a soft drink you take out for a cookout. Cookout. All right, we like it. I love it in the summer. I don't really like. I like it when it's all carbonated. You mix in the soda water with it. Very Lime good. punch off the board, uh, Frank. You're up. This is a soft drink that was 
once associated with a baseball hall of famer who was like the spokesman for this company for 30 years and i'm talking about yogi Berra, and i'm talking about you who mm. i've drafted you who before i fucking love it frank i mean uh i haven't had a you who probably in 35 years or 30 years at least 30 years and it's something that goes back to once again that's that you, you if you have the can, you can pack it in a, in a child's lunch box or the juice box. You even have like it, and but nothing is better than the yuhu in the glass box. Oh yeah, you shake it up. Maybe you put it in the put it in the freezer for 20 minutes, and it's a little frothy. And, and you have that with the, uh, that's something that, that actually goes pretty good with hot dogs. Actually, is uh, <laughs> is a nice yuhu. Hot dogs and yuhu, huh? I've never heard that one. Yes, no. I would. You could give me a thousand tries to guess the combination you just came up with, and I wouldn't be able no? to get it. Yeah. You haven't had one in 30 years, you said, Frank? Frank, you need to go get Probably yourself a yoo 30 years. Frank, I'm going to see you in a couple days. I'm bringing a yoo to the office. I feel like we I have think we to. need to bring him a yoo <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't take that, unless if you were getting ready to. No, 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 I wasn't. Because I remember um, you took it before. Yeah. It I, I love eat. it. I've seen him drink a lot of them. It's have you? <clears throat> not, not a, I won't drink a lot of them. Because they're just fucking Never. horribly unhealthy for you. Never seen them. Um, but they're fucking great. What's that? I've never seen you drink one. I was just saying. Like, I mean, I've I'll get them at I'll impulse buy them at a gas station. I'll drink them in two seconds. I don't like go out of my way often to get them. But I haven't had many. Wasn't a Yuhu guy. I yeah, love you. I, no, I love it. Me. And it's the other thing with the glass bottle. You give it a pat on the bottom because a little bit of the chocolate sediment like sits there on the bottom. Yeah. I think you could definitely draw a line, like correlate between like how much supervision you had as a child and how much you who you were allowed to drink, or like what that relationship <laughs> looks like. So it's fucking Frankenstein from Big Daddy. I mean, his buddies were chugging him. Um, okay, White Sox, Dave, you're up. All right, I'm probably I'm I'm not probably I'm gonna get completely shit on for this pick, but I buy these all the time in spite of how unhealthy they are. They're fucking so good. It's when you're hungover, when you're trying to catch a flight, wherever, mocha frappuccinos. So the yeah the glass the Starbucks bottle. yeah the glass yeah Starbucks glass bottle, uh, they're in every single gas station on earth. I love those things. I fucking love them. I don't think you'll get shit for that. No, I don't think so yeah. either. No, no. I mean it's it's a completely obscure pick, but I love those things. I think they have their own fucking door in uh in the convenience store. I, they, honestly, now that you mention it, they probably do. Yeah, I don't mind them in can or bottle either. I'll typically opt for bottle. I don't know why I have like a mental block about coffee products and cans. Like I, I for me it has to be the glass bottle. If I'm in a if I'm in a rush I'll get the Starbucks like black bottle mm -hmm. black coffee things. Um but these are just it's just straight sugar, milk, coffee flavor. Yeah, they're good. They're awesome. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. No, I don't you're not going to get unless if Frankie you like this one or no. They're not my I don't really like the taste of coffee that much. So I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah. Um, but if you is, we probably don't have a pairing with coffee then, or no, I I don't drink coffee. So yeah. okay, mm -hmm. no, I, I'm fine with this pick by Dave. Yeah, Are I think you? it's a good pick. Yeah, I think it, I figured some type of coffee would go. So if that's it, all right, you're up again, David. Are you sure about that? That you're up again? Yeah, yeah this is your last. Uh, it's pick. a wrap around. Okay. Fuck. What just happened? Um, all right, I'll go. <laughs> you, you took the plug out for a second? No, I, I looked at my list. I thought I had five already. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brain fart. That's okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I looked up the brand these are called. I don't know. I don't remember ever calling them this, but the little... Uh, my parents shopped at Aldi. I'm embarrassed to say that. The little... They're coming ba plastic barrels that are like this the size. plastic twist-off thing? No, they're not plastic. They have the, the aluminum foil, that, foil you uh, that they pull back. Yeah. The blue ones of those were so fucking good. Straight uh, sugar water. They're called Hugs, I guess. H-U-G-S. Um, oh, those things. <laughs> In New Jersey, we serve those for prisoners. <laughs> so you don't like it, Frank? They have like every flavor. It's a it's pr pr prison water. It's a little hug uh, juice it, barrel. The, yeah, the, the, those yeah. Are, the, the, those are things that are basically like a, the, the, the summer camps and prisons. And uh, we in New Jersey call that hug juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So hug. This, I mean, I haven't had one of these in probably twenty-five years, 
But and it's got like the and it's got like the foil top. Yeah, the like, foil like, top, and I would punch through it and like wrap it around the rim instead of peeling it off because I was always in such a rush to drink it. Um, I, and yeah, I want the blue ones. Like, look at that. Tell me that doesn't yeah, look listen, refreshing I'll, as fuck to you. I'm not gonna shit on this. A lot of people, you know, this is nostalgia. Man. It's a it's a nostalgia play. If I had one sit in front of me right now, I would yeah. love to consume See, Chief it. hates it. He's going to call you a five-year-old, and he's going to spit in your face. It's, it's, this right, is fine. Round. It's, it's, basically, round. it's basically a Gatorade. It's no different, really, but it's more marketed towards children, 10 or yeah, younger, I would say. It's more of a, it's a, it's more of a, a knockoff like, uh, Kool-Aid, I would say. Yeah, it's, same. Yeah. It, yeah, it's like that, and, and basically it, 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 it's like if, if you – like, like when, when I worked at the courthouse and they had to bring in like 200 prisoners – they had just packed it on the bus, and that would be what they give the prisoners to drink. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've heard that before. From I mean, a, that from I, we we talk about like prison reform, and I think we should <laughs> we take do. that away from them. Why? Because it's good. It's too nice. To, it's too nice to the prisoners. You can't good. be giving that out. We talk prison reform. <laughs> I mean, we as in like people, a society, in, in society. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Well, tomorrow will be prison Next reform with White Sox Day. Yeah. <laughs> We'll hear Get all Kim Kardashian on. Um, oh my god! All right, little hug fruit barrel blue flavor specifically off the board. Uh, any pairing there, Frank? Or um, that goes with PB and J thing yeah, again, but uh, or bologna sandwich. Mm-hmm. Bologna, yeah, something like that. Bologna, for sure. okay. All right, Frank, your last pick. Ocean spray cranberry juice. That's a little more healthier back. option. A little healthier option. You know, uh, it's it's not it's not one of my personal favorites, but it's like a little healthier option. It, you know, if you have like a digestive issue or something like that, or you're having like like uh, an upset stomach, that's it, that that is something that's very good. It, it's like I said, it's a little healthier option. <clears throat> and with all the, the different drinks I put on there, I figured that'd be the best. Way to round out my list is that ocean spray cranberry juice. Uh, Frankie, I love it. I love it. I love a good cranberry juice. Clear out the UTI, you know. Whatever you need. Yep. Um, you look like you were going to take it because that's so. Yeah, I think it's a great discussion point, too. Like, I was in between taking it in the fourth round. I think Hawaiian Punch is a better pick for the graphic, but I think ocean spray cranberry juice to me is one of the best, t- best picks to talk about because the ocean spray brand really – is ex- exists with cranberry one and then if i was like name other stuff ocean spray is good at you would name a bunch of stuff that they fucking suck at the only thing they're good at is this cranberry juice i mean they're so much better at doing cranberry juice than anybody is at doing the next juice that like if you see another type of cranberry juice it's unequivocally trash some of the other juices we've drafted before you can make an argument for other brands name, but name like, another cranberry juice exactly i don't know it's if hard, i could yeah. it's 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 honestly like the ju- the jewel brand i'm sure the, there's yeah. like, yeah. like i'm sure minute maid or tropic I'm, I'm sure. cranberry but, but if like, you yeah. said cranberry juice your brain just goes oh, so you think the ocean that, spray the bottle the wrapped up bottle that Very. that blue and white oval logo yeah. like yeah. a lot of good points being made in this room and so, on that note and, uh, Ocean spray uh, also makes the cranberry sauce that comes can. in the can. Oh, yeah, of course. They do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it slurps out of the can. Hold on, Frank. Give me that sound one more time. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Frank. Thank you, Frank. I, that noise is so distinct. Oh, yeah. You just dump it on the plate, slice it up. It's such cheap and white trash, but you, it's like it's necessary. Do you drink this much, though, Frank? Do you? I don't think... That much cranberry sauce, but you can get cranberry juice. But you know, it, you just know it. You know, it, 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 it like, like if you like, if someone mentioned a, a, a UTI. If you have a, a that that like really helps with that. With your like urinary tract, and if if, uh, if you have kidney stones, it's supposed to aid in that too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big time diuretic. Yeah, and I, I feel like this was for a lot of people in their like early early 20s or early drinking days like this was a, a mixer like a mixer of choices oh, yeah. vodka, oh, I think vodka it crayon still is, like, oh I don't yeah think I, I think it is but i don't think i've had no, one no, 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 splash of like crayon but if you're like a table will bring it out like a craft you know oh yeah that's yeah, a, yeah that that's would be nice thing, well yeah. i haven't been you know not everybody just bottles i knew that i didn't want to i know say i know that. no 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 that, that's such an easy <laughs> joke to make to you that is an unfair joke as well because i love you know, I'm never turning on bottle service myself, so <laughs> it's just one of those things you rip on, and then people are like, "You want to get bottle service? You don't have to pay for it." You're like, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. But thank you. If you're gonna make thank me pay you. for it, you suck. Thank you. 
So appreciate that. Mm. Uh, did you have a pairing for that, Frank? <laughs> um, that's that's something that, that, that if you like soup, I think would be probably best with the cranberry sauce. Some nice warm soup and some cranberry <laughs> juice. Jesus I love Frank. it, Frankie. Yeah, uh, for some reason, I, I, I don't think of cranberry sauce when you're feeling the best. I think, I think that's something you would drink if you're not feeling well. Good rationale, too. Mm-hmm. Good rationale here, boys. Uh, Carl. All right. I got to take a shot here. I think we're very competitive. I think there's. I think Frank's got a good board. Um, I think you guys have good boards. I don't feel like I'm – I don't. Besides, Chief, be honest. Icelandic glacier is is <laughs> glacial. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um so I am gonna take I'm I think this is a bad pick, but I feel like I feel like I'm putting in like a baseball bet and you're like, I, I think it's such a bad pick it might be good. So I'm just gonna take good old fashioned classic, the fucking seven ounce can of V eight. Wow. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely oh disgusting. God. V8 is disgusting. Oh my God. V8 is so bad and so fucking gross. But when you're in your health kick and you're trying to get all down and you're like, you know, there's old, nothing healthy about it. Yeah, but I like a V8. It feels I had healthy. A V8. You know, you should have had. Been, why haven't you been drinking V8, Frank? You don't like V8? Uh, that's the old joke. I wouldn't drink V8. Uh, no, I would not drink a V8. I just remember the commercials. Was uh, always someone like smacking someone upside the head. You should have had a V8, or someone smacking himself. I should have had a V8. Mm. 30 30 wow. percent wins this draft, and I, and maybe V8 helps me get that thirty percent. Maybe it doesn't. You but took V8. That was such. That's such a bad pick. I feel like you only <laughs> buy V8 if you get like sprayed by a skunk, and then you have to do that old wise trick of like dousing yourself in well, tomato juice. I could. I thought you, maybe V8 splash. You ever a V8 splash? Yeah, that's, but day? there's too many things that on this board True. already. Like V8 at the end in the fifth round, it's just a pure tomato juice. I mean, you guys can compete. I mean, if you guys want to take another vegetable based one, but this is the first vegetable based. Drink. Someone's some listener out there is going to file us into the league about tanking because that no was, no no uh, no no. But if you look what I'm trying, I have all these different. I got energy drink. I got a I got dairy. I got, got a, a refreshing. Variety. I've got the the hillbilly fucking cookout drink. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to throw in a V8 and hopefully. Yeah, and I know you're big on well rounded, but I stupid, huh? Yeah, I don't know if you should have gone V8. Yeah, that was a that was a bold bold. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, at least can you at least throw me a little like, all right, you know, I'm I'm taking my shots down. Yeah, Fuck, you man. are, you are. Wasn't good, Frank. And any pairing for V8 other than just like misery? No, there's nothing. There's nothing that pairs with V8. Fuck. The only thing that pairs with V8 is if you have a hangover. Is my finger still on the <laughs> <laughs> the chest piece? There's no hangover. All right. Well, man. if you've been sitting around listening this whole time waiting for a good V8 pick, I got your back. <laughs> That's the blog on Monday. Um, Chief. Cool blue Gatorade. So that that was probably my – that's my second favorite Gatorade. Yellow is yellow's the best, which is why I didn't want to go Gatorade in the first round. Uh, maybe we can get Ken Jack to flip first and fifth round picks <laughs> for the graphic. But, uh, yeah, cool blue Gatorade, it's, it, it is – I think there's only three that I would have had. Like, I've had three flavors way more than the rest of the catalog combined, and Cool Blue is, is definitely there, and I think that's that's my pick. I agree. I think it's the second best. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I disagree. Well, I think I would say it's third best. Well, are you going to take a Gatorade, Ed? Um, I'm not. Okay, so, so do you want to so say? So orange. I think orange right, Gatorade okay. is second best. I think orange, red, and oh, yellow all kind no. of hang out together. No, 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 no. Orange Gatorade. Oh. <laughs> what do you when know orange, about beverages, when Gatorade Frank? Had just three, when Gatorade had just three flavors, green, red, and orange, nobody wanted the orange. I mean, the, 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 uh, the, it's me. I actually might. I actually like the, uh, the fruit punch, the red Gatorade. I think that's definitely second best. I think mm-hmm. that's the third place. Mm-hmm. I like Riptide Rush too. I, I uh, never liked that one. one. And the the, the light purple is good too. Um, I, all thought, right. I thought light purple was Riptide Rush. I think it's light blue, but I don't know. I, I think it might be. I think you're right. I think it is purple. Okay. Blue comes best in the squeeze bottle. Oh, if you remember dude, the ridge, time. the ridge yep. squeeze bottle, where you got to twist it a little Do bit. They still make those. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I but mean, if you had one of those if you had one of those going into like a sixth grade basketball game, you had a fully oh, loaded yeah. one, dude, you were ready to put up four points, two rebounds. Oh dude, yeah, that's day. that some with that bottle, they all tasted better. I remember it's like one of my favorite tweets. I forget who tweeted it or else I'd say it, but he 
It was like, why does that squeeze bottle feel like you're sucking it straight out of a gator's titty? You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> something about that fucking that squeeze good bottle. Good texture, nice. everything, yeah. Yeah. Um, good pick. All right, to me, Mr. Relevant. All right, between two, I don't know if I want to – I could div- diversify my board pretty well right now um, like you, but I, I don't get it as much as I get this other one. I'm going to get it, and this is going to be controversial maybe because uh, I'm going to take the Powerade Blue. Whoa. Yeah. And I, the Powerade Blue has a, has a strong, loyal fan base. It's Mountain Berry Blast, I think it is. Um, it's good. It's good, and I know you're going to shit on it because no. you like the blue. What? No, I do think the blue Gatorade's better, but this is the lemon lime Gatorade of Powerade. Yes. Like when you think I of Powerade, yeah. you think of the blue flavor. When you think of Gatorade, you think of the yellow flavor. Correct. Correct. And it's like people like to shit on Powerade, easy target. You know what I mean? It's yeah. kind of like Smash Mouth. You know, mm-hmm. it's like the, it's like Creed, but the blue one. The yeah. blue you guys remember awesome. when Pepsi tried to come out with its own uh, the, the All Sport? Yeah, All Sport. Yeah, and um, trash. It flopped. Yeah, it flopped. It was and fucking Gatorade carbonated and, before sports games. What Cherry Slam was doing? good though. Cherry Slam All Sport was by far the was number one good? All Sport flavor. And, and what was funny is. How did how does Pepsi end up winning this battle? They, they bought get it. Get rid of they brought Gatorade. Yeah, <laughs> they bought Gatorade. Yeah, yeah, smart. <laughs> I mean, you look. You gave me no. I like. I like the blue Powerade move. I think blue Powerade carries Powerade just like Ocean Spray Cranberry, and like we talked about. Um, the thing about Powerade, I think, is funny. Is like I imagine working at like who owns Powerade? Coke. Correct. All right. Yeah. So just like imagine you're working at Coca Cola in the '90s, and someone comes in and like we got this big project. We need to create a whole new brand. And they're like, they just give you like a fucking cup of Gatorade. And they're like, just copy this exactly. Yes. And some guy ended up being like a famous multimillionaire business executive because he like led the Powerade project or whatever. And it's like, literally all you did was just copy Gatorade. And not even that, he's like, it's gotta be eight at the end. Eight, yeah. it's yeah. literally yeah. eight. Yeah. Like, a power, we like that. Mm, yeah, here Gives right. us power, eight. What's more powerful than a Gatorade? Yeah. Well, power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, like that was probably the media yeah. in the '90s in the right. Coca- yeah. at Coca Cola, yeah. just like doing designer drugs and hanging around in a nice conference. <laughs> yeah. well, you you like guys this. know why Gatorade is Gatorade. It was invented the Florida in Gators, University yeah, Florida, yeah, for the Florida Gators football team. They still had that commercial going, I think. I, when they talk, I know about, the one you're talking about. Yeah. Where they're like in a lab. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, why don't we just put sugar water and tell people it's for hydration? Yeah, <laughs> bingo. Hey, it worked. It worked. <laughs> Billions of dollars later. Um, Frank, anything about Blue Powerade or you, same thing with Gatorade? Not a big fan of the sports drinks. Uh, I like all sport better than I like Powerade. Hmm. Oh, wow. If I'm going to get anything with the word eight in it, it's going to be the OG original Gatorade. Sorry. Okay. It's all right. Um, all right. I'm going to run through this list one more time. We'll do honorable mentions. We'll get out of here. White Sox Dave, Gatorade, Lemon Lion, Arizona Iced Tea with Lemon and a Gallon, Simply Orange Juice. Uh, Starbucks mocha frappuccino in the bottle. Little hug fruit barrel blue. Mm. Uh, Frank the Tank Kool Aid tropical punch. Lipton brisk lemon iced tea can. Uh, high high sea ecto cooler. Yuhu, ocean spray cranberry juice. Uh, Carl Arizona Arnold Palmer Oberweiss chocolate milk. Red Bull sugar free. Hawaiian punch in the gallon. Uh, V8 original. Um, <laughs> Chief water Icelandic glacial. <laughs> Uh, Martinelli's apple juice, simply lemonade, the Croy uh, pample mousse. Did I say pample mousse? Pample mousse, grapefruit, mousse. whatever. Uh, Gatorade Cool Blue, Eddie Capri Sun, Snapple Peach Tea, Pure Leaf Sweet Tea, Vitamin Water Dragon Fruit, uh, Powerade Mountain Berry Blast. Now you guys were you guys trashed my original pick, which is f- the fucking best water. I think we got to talk about Carl's draft. You think you had a strong draft? V8, mm-hmm. a milk that nobody has had around the country. And well, that's a, a good milk. Sugar free, it is it a good is milk. A fucking awesome but milk. if you go to the council and the council is out of state, they might just be like, I don't know what that but is. Here's it's the, the thing, only though, dairy. If they see the glass, it might be like, oh, okay, I could get around to that. It's the only dairy. It's the only the, If the council has any integrity and they have not had that, and then no, they have a sugar free Red Bull, which is. He's, his draft is better than you. It's not. Yes, it's, it is. It's not. And you have raccoon taste, and so do you. And you <laughs> well, got. I, we're, I'm addre- I've won four out of the last five. I don't want to address oh, this I stuff. Mean, you play to the crowd. Well, yeah. You know, know, I mean, yeah. not telling me I have a. I, you're but not these, satisfied with a draft that's well rounded and balanced. Well, it's because you, like, you have, like, I won four out of five, so they must be good picks. I'm here to say that they're not good picks. V8 <laughs> stinks. Sugar free Red Bull stinks. I love Orbewise, but I don't think people know it. 
Overwise is so fucking good. Oh, well, man. What, you know what? I appreciate the feedback in real time. We'll let the mm-hmm. chips fall where they may. I yeah. I think that there are a lot of competitive drafts here, and I hope people know what Pample Moose tastes like. I think they do. Oh, I think that yeah, I, I think people they know do. Pample Moose. Here's think, uh, group, group. the one I was between to diversify my board was Nest Quick. Mm-hmm. Sometimes like a little, little the mix. Bu- yeah, get the, no the bunny. Get the bunny. I, so, oh, yeah, 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 I was yeah, having yeah. like a brain cramp on that. Yeah. I was like, was the bunny on Yoohoo? Because no. don't they have the same colors? Same colors. They do. Yes. Yeah, they okay. do. They do. But yeah. Nesquik has the bunny. They have a strawberry one. They got yeah. a lot of different flavors. So, And okay. they got the good. The mix is classic, too. You um, load that shit up. It's like 90% milk, 1% water. <laughs> mm-hmm. Frankie, any honorable mentions for you? I would have probably put Welch's grape juice. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Number one. Mm hmm. I like that actually. Well, like just sparkling grape then too on that front, um, mm-hmm. yeah. like the the kitty, or like the kitty champagne or whatever. I'm a Tropicana guy when it comes to orange juice. I think simply has passed better. It. Yeah, Mott's apple juice. Mm-hmm. Mott's is good. That's classic. Yeah. Tobo Chico, a lot of those. San Pellegrino, Minute Maid, uh, fruit punch is very good. And the red gallon. I don't know if you ever had that. It's very yeah. strong. Country time lemonade. Yep, country time lemonade. Country time lemonade. Yeah, yeah, good. Sure. Uh, what's his face? Um, the actor. Paul Newman's lemonade is really good too. Is it? Yeah, Paul Newman's pink lemonade very good. Have you guys ever had Mystic? Mystic. It's in a glass bottle. Oh yeah, Mystic. Shout out to Mystic. Yeah, Bunny Blue Mystic. Once. He so, left a sleepover. He said he had a bad Mystic. Um, I don't know what that means. Nantucket but. Nectars has like a zillion good juices. Too. I don't think those things. These like I I bet like ninety percent of the drinks that we drafted today have like infinite shelf lives. Like it just never comes Yeah, back. your buddy didn't get sick from That's what you love. We still give him shit when he's like, I remember he's like, oh, I'm not coming out. We're like, what the fuck, dude? Do you have a bad mystic? You know? It's yeah. like, like, and this was, yeah. he was, we were 10. You know? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I think I had a bad mystic. He went home. <laughs> uh, I got can, a buddy. Can Gatorade, we didn't talk about this when we were talking about Gatorade, but Gatorade in an aluminum can really stands out. There's something I mean. special yeah, about they, that. Yeah, they brought that back, I think, like two years ago or something. I should. So it's starting to, you yeah, can buy it on Amazon. Some. Yeah, I had some. Mm-hmm. It's good. They were nice. Um, Anything else? No? Frankie, thank you for doing this. The combinations, people always love it. I can't wait to hear people's thoughts on this one. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. We got to do a Frankie's testing menu at some point. Hey, can I ask Frank predictions for the dozen uh, dozen trivia tournament? Well, hopefully we finally win one. (laughs) So you're going to win it all. Frank Katz win it all? Yeah. uh, We're the number one seed. Mm -hmm. You earned it. And that's true. All right, uh, Frank. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Uh, that's it for this. That's it for this today. Excuse me. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll see you then.